Hey guys, my name is Dakota Russell with Bergara. Today I'm here to share with you some inside information on our B14 squared Crest Carbon rifle, and particularly the stock that goes onto this platform here. So the Crest Carbon actually comes with our Cure carbon fiber barrel, 100% carbon fiber stock, uh, starting weight at 6.2 pounds. And this stock really has a lot of cool technologies that I wanted to share with you all today. So the Crest Carbon stock and all of our other Crest rifles for that matter actually have 100% carbon fiber RTM technology stock. So you're probably wondering what is RTM? RTM stands for resin through molding. Resin through molding is actually a process that's it's used a lot in the aerospace industry and a lot in the automotive industry as well. So resin through molding actually works with, you start with dry fibers, so dry carbon fibers. Um, you'll actually look on this stock and you'll notice that it has a weave to it. So it's got a, a 90 degree weave. And what you'll actually do is they'll take in the, in the molding process, they'll take dry fibers, put them into our mold, and then they'll shoot the resin into that mold, goes through a curing process, and it really hardens and makes it all one structure. Where the RTM process really shines is in the action inlet area. So I've actually got a cutout here. So we've actually taken one of our stocks and cut it in half for you all to really share the inside information visually with you. So if you'll actually notice here, this is all 100% carbon fiber on the pillar area. This is the front pillar. It's the same in the rear here. So you've got a lot of strength and rigidity there that would normally be found in a little bit heavier material. But now with this technology, you can have it with carbon fiber. So yes, your pillars are carbon fiber as well as your recoil lug surface area. So you're able to have the same strength and rigidity and tolerances that you would find in an aluminum mini chassis. The coolest part that we've actually incorporated into this stock, in my opinion, is the I-beam structure that runs from the rear all the way to the front of the fore end there. So we've cut the back here right at the grip area, and you'll notice that there's a line that runs from the top to the bottom. What this is actually uh, incorporating is two pieces of foam, two lightweight polyurethane foams that have been wrapped fully with carbon fiber and bonded together as one stock. So having that run from the back to the front adds a lot of rigidity. So upon recoil, you actually don't have any flex in the stock in the action area or at the grip area. So you never have to worry about a stock breaking even though it's lightweight. But you can actually load a lot on the bipod due to the fact that you've got two swivel studs, you can put a Picatinny rail or an Arca Swish rail. You can put this on a tripod and you don't have to worry about the rifle flexing on that tripod. So it really does act as an I-beam structure like it would be on a bridge or whatnot. So having that in a lightweight stock is actually allowing you to have a rifle that is functioning as an aluminum chassis style rifle. But you can do it in a hunting rifle, which is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Digging into the Crest stock a little bit more about the features on it. So we've actually got an M5 cutout for the bottom metal. So the M5 is actually very industry standard today. So you can use a lot of different components on the market, whether it's other DBMs, other floor plates, or whatever bottom metal you would like. We've got four flush cups all the way around the stock, two on the right and two on the left. So I've shared a lot of information on the Crest stock today, but the best part is you can find all of that on either our Crest Carbon or our Crest Steel rifles. Go to any Bergara retailer and check them out or go to BergaraUSA.com for additional information.